a couple of points. First of all, small tomatoes are better than big tomatoes. And so if you go to the supermarket and you really want something that tastes good, get a cherry tomato. Don't buy those big monster tomatoes. Uh, they have more flavor. Consistently, we see the smaller tomatoes have more flavor than the larger tomatoes. So the very best tomato up there, Cherry Roma, that's the, pretty much the best heirloom we've ever grown in terms of ratings. But down at the bottom is something called Matt's Wild Cherry, and I see people growing this all the time. It, you see it in magazines. People say, oh, yeah, I grow this. It's a tiny little thing, and they're terrible. Uh, in fact, they're, they're disgusting. <clears throat> The biggest, the, the, the best big tomato we've ever put through our consumer panels is something called a brandy wine. I'm sure many of you have heard of brandy wines and maybe probably even grown them. But down at the bottom, um, I, I did a sabbatical in France and they said, oh yeah, in, in France, of course, we're, everything's better here. Um, and we grow great tomatoes. Well, Marmande is, is a French heirloom variety. Well, it's the worst tomato we've ever put in our consumer panels. The point being that there's a huge range. That works to our advantage because we can exploit that range to understand human responses and to understand genetics. 